In this video, we're going to create uh, this uh, UI design uh, using Figma. We're going to start from scratch uh, and uh, by the end of it, uh, you're going to have uh, the exact uh, same website. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, we're back in Figma and uh, we just created a new file by clicking on the plus. Uh, and uh, the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click uh, and uh, we're going to rename this to web app. So that we can rename the file and uh, now we're going to click on frame and we're going to select desktop and uh, we're going to select desktop 1440 pixels now as we click on it uh, you can see that this frame has been created we're going to double click uh, on this name again and we're going to rename it uh, to home and uh, now we have uh, our base to work on now let's use the text tool in order to create our very first text. We're going to write here Supreme and we're going to increase the font size incrementally using the shift. And we're essentially going to find a measurement around these lines. We're going to make the logo um, black or actually let's try bold so that it's not uh, as big as this and uh, we're going to essentially duplicate this by using command c and uh, command v and uh, by doing this you can see that another layer has been created i'm also going to show the keyboard viewer moving forward so that uh, you can uh, easily see all of uh, the elements and all of the keyboard strokes which uh, I'm using since we're going to use a bit moving uh, forward in this lecture. Now let's uh, make a smaller version of this text, probably going to go with 16 and we're going to make this one uh, medium. Now just before we move forward with this, I'm going to select both the text layers and going to write in Lato. Now, Lato is a free Google web font, uh, which uh, you can find uh, um, directly on Google's website uh, very easily. Uh, simply search uh, for Lato on Google. And as you can see, the very first uh, query is fonts.google.com. So you can sim simply click on the here and uh, you're going to see this option to download family. Simply click on it and then uh, double click on the fonts uh, in order to install them in the system you might need to restart figma but um, uh, afterwards uh, you should uh, have it so let's uh, continue over here let's write uh, the text which uh, is going to be about i'm going to duplicate it one more time and one more time using the shift plus option key and then using command d and uh, this is going to save us just a little bit of time so we're going to write here services. Here we're going to write FAQ. And here we're going to write contact us. Now let's select all of these uh, and we're going to use the distribute horizontal spacing in order to distribute them uh, um, horizontally. And uh, now in order to move forward with a structure, we're going to start implementing a layout grid. We're going to click over here going to select columns I'm going to add 12 columns add quite a bit of margin in uh, between uh, and this is going to serve us as a guide and this is useful especially for developers when they're going to implement the designs I'm going to make it uh, light gray so it doesn't interfere too much uh, visually and uh, here we go now the very next thing uh, that I would like to do is to move uh, this uh, all the way to the left. We're going to have uh, two buttons. So the very first one, I'm going to use the rectangle tool right here. It's going to be the sign up. And I'm going to center this. Now we're going to click on auto layout. And this uh, is now in auto layout and you're going to see why this is super cool in just a minute. I'm going to duplicate this and uh, so that we have two out layout buttons. I'm going to write login. Now, as you can see, it automatically adapts uh, according to the um, 
to, to the auto layout setting which was uh, set up so that's that uh, and uh, probably going to make this uh, um, blue we're going to make the text white we're going to make uh, this uh, with a stroke which is going to be white we're going to remove the fill now at this point we can start uh, making uh, this uh, uh, interface uh, in a dark mode so what we're going to do next uh, is we're going to select uh, a blue color we're going to simply make it all uh, dark in appearance in order to get the mood we're also going to add a little bit of rounded corners and also I'm going to basically make the background just a little bit more towards the um, towards a grayish blue tint and here we go let's make this text white and uh, we have it now let's write uh, here um, this is going to serve us as the main uh, headline Duplicate this as well. We're going to write some text. a bit uh, of line height in between now let's also select these two auto layout elements we're going to round them up all the way all right now let's duplicate this we're going to write uh, and get started now And uh, just below this, uh, um, we're actually going to add uh, some uh, elements. And uh, just before we continue, we're actually going to go ahead and add uh, a, um, a dashboard right uh, over here, which uh, we're going to find from the web and uh, specifically from uh, uh, my Dribbble account have a lot of UI kits which uh, you can uh, um, basically um, see the single snippets so we're going to find uh, a image which is going to look good in this particular context maybe we're going to look at something around these lines uh, or even the one below with uh, this graph so we're simply going to select this one copy image I'm going to paste it uh, right here. All right, now as you can see, the image is not uh, fixed perfectly, so I'm going to make it just a little bit larger until I see that there's the breakpoint essentially. And uh, here we go. I'm going to just shrink it just a little bit. We're going to add uh, some uh, uh, drop shadow which we're going to make uh, uh, with uh, this uh, color right here right here let's increase the blur all the way and let's also consider adding uh, a small stroke let's put it outside maybe let's make it a little bit lighter so that we have that nice uh, glow effect and uh, going on let's round it up just a little bit less and uh, here we go all right now what we're gonna do next is we're going to create uh, a section with uh, some more elements and data and uh, i'm simply going to create a rectangle right here and uh, i'm going to make it just a little bit smaller actually let's bring 
this guy up and this one's going to be down just a bit now let's use the same corner radius and we're going to duplicate the color and just make it a little bit lighter so that we can see it uh, with more ease now all of these uh, I want to just make the the layout grid a little bit less visible since uh, it's quite in our face at the moment so I'm just going to keep it super light just like that and I'm going to now uh, divide this using a slash 4 and you cannot really see anything because it's uh, <laughs> it's basically in the same color but now you actually can and uh, basically what we created here is a division now I'm going to use a uh, shift plus option and uh, drag it and uh, use command plus T a few times in order to create uh, this division and uh, as you can see we can now kind of create uh, these uh, different distinctions and uh, this is going to serve us just as a, a way to divide uh, uh, some of these elements up now you're going all of this is going to make more sense in just a minute so we're going to write here some uh, some text some elements I'm going to go with uh, the bold in this specific instance now we're going to add some uh, values let's make this one actually let's duplicate this and let's make this one bigger and uh, maybe also in black just a bit bigger as well and now what we're gonna do is uh, we're actually going to distance a bit these elements and I'm going to duplicate this and uh, add uh, a percentage of variation I'm going to duplicate this uh, element uh, bring it right here and we're going to create uh, this the stag element and here we go all right I'll make it just a little bit smaller and group it all together and I think we're pretty much uh, good to go when it comes to this uh, section let's change the numbers just a bit and we're good all right at this point we're going to use a uh, nucleo icons which is uh, a uh, very nice plugin for or actually a software to drag and drop icons and i'm going to use bitcoin drag it over here use the same color it's for visual consistency and uh, here we have our very first uh, element uh, that uh, we created all right now i'm going to basically note uh, that there is like 44 pixels on the left uh, and i'm going to duplicate this uh, just a few times and make sure that each and every one of the of these uh, has 44 pixels on the left and here we go all right so far so good now let's uh, go ahead and let's find some more um, values so we're going to go with ethereum uh, for some reason 
there isn't really much uh, <laughs> going on so probably we're just going to or actually let's let's find let's see if uh, if we select all no we can't really find let's write in crypto let's see if we can uh, find some more uh, values right here or we're simply going to change uh, the initial one to be different uh, uh, other ones so maybe like this we're going to have a green one so let's just pretend that there are some uh, different elements and different like values uh, right here so we're just going to make this one up All right, I'm also going to just delete this uh, so that uh, we can just have one of them. Increase the height just a little bit. Or actually, let's do that a little bit, bit more. Let's bring this one down. And uh, I think we're in good shape. Let's just change up these values a bit so that they are diversified all right and this one's going to be 1.2 this one's going to be 4.1 we're going to have 1.9 all right perfect so we have our base going for this home page and uh, we're going to continue and move forward with this in the very next video